guys, welcome to my son Academy. So today we are going to be looking at recording lessons. Okay, and then in this recording lessons, we refer this lessons as lessons that have a repeating digits. Okay, in which their digits are not repeating. So we can have a recording lessons that have up to two or three digits that are not recording. Now let us look at this example. If we have something like 4.33, 4.33, okay, you see that this is a recording decimal with one digit recording, okay. So, you look at another example, let's say we have another one, 8.37, Now, in this decimal, this is a recording decimal. Because we have digits that are not recorded in a particular pattern. Now, if you watch here, we have two digits that are not recorded in this particular recording decimal. Okay, so now, sometimes in questions, you will be asked to convert these recording decimals to, uh, to fractions. So, how do we convert these recording decimals to fractions? That's what we are going to do today. So, let us use this example here. Let's say we have this example 1 and this example 2. So we are going to change them to, to fractional form. Okay, so for example 1, let's say solution 1, we are going to call this value there x to be equal to 4.5. 333. Three, three. Okay. And also, if we look at it, we have just one digit that is what recording. So because of that, we are going to multiply this with what? With 10. So if we multiply this with 10, let's say we multiply with 10, we have 10x. We multiply the right hand side. You see that the base now will move to this side so that we have um, 4 points. 43.33 okay and we can continue writing the 3 if we wish because it's a what a recurring what decimals all right so now the point is that we can subtract let's call this one equation one and call this one equation two so we can subtract equation one from two so that if you do that 10x minus x will give you what 9x okay and here we have 3 will minus 3, they will all was cancel out. Okay? So that here will be 0. So everything here is also 0. So it's not important to get to us. So what we have here now is 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 can't go, so we take 1 here, add it up to this. It becomes uh, 13, if we are looking at this way. So 13 minus uh, 4, we are going to have what? 9. So what remains here is 3. We bring down our what? 3. So what we are having here is that 9x is equal to 39. Okay? So what we need is x. We are finding x. Okay? So if we solve for x, that implies that our x will be equal to 39 over what? Over 9. Okay? So our x is equal to 39 over 9. So if we divide here, 3 can go here. Here will give us 13, 3 here, we have what? 3. So that our answer will be what? 13 over what? Over 3. So if you point to your calculator, 13 divided by 3, you are going to have what? This recurring decimal. Exactly this recurring decimal. Okay, so what we have done is that we have converted this decimal or this recurring decimal to our, our, our fraction. Okay, so the next one we have here is for question 2. Let's say solution 2. Okay, and here we have to set x to be equal to 8.373737. Okay, so how many digits are recorded here? We have two digits that are what? Recorded. Okay, so we are going to multiply with 100 because we have two digits that are recorded. So that if we multiply it with 100, we are going to have 100 words x, right? So this is our equation 1. So we also multiply the right hand side with 100. 
the decimal point will move to two places, okay? So that we have eight three seven points. Then we have seven three seven three seven. We can continue that way, writing three seven three seven because it is a what a recurring decimal. So now we subtract equation two equation one from two. So that what we are going to have here, if we subtract, we have 100x minus x will give us 99x. Okay, so here we give you 0, 0, you subtract. So everything here will be 0, 0, 0, and it continues that way. Now, for this other one here, we have, if we say 7 minus 8, it can't go, so we have to take one of us from 3 to this side. We have 1717, and here remains 2, so that's 17 minus 8, we have 9. Okay, so 2 here can come down. And we have uh, 8 is also down. So this implies that we have 99x is equal to 829. So what we are looking for is x, so that our x will be equal to 82. 829 divided by 1 by 99. So this becomes our, our answer. So what we have done here is that we have converted this uh, recording this now to a word, to a fraction form. So if you punch your calculator and do 82, 829 divided by 99, you are going to get this one's decimal or this recurring decimal. So you see such kind of question in your exam in elementary mathematics, you see this kind of question. Okay, so we are going to stop here for today. So we'll see you in our next class. And also, if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, Click on that subscription button and also uh, on the notification bell to get updates of series of videos that will be coming from the Microsoft Academy. So see you in the next class. Have a wonderful day.